I want to tell you how I learned to code completely on my own, completely from zero, and even got paid to code professionally in just four months. I don't have a degree in computer science and I never did a coding bootcamp. Nowadays, you can learn anything you want online for free and I am proof of that. All I knew about coding was what I'd seen in movies. I thought it was just typing complicated stuff on a screen in a green font and the computer doing something crazy. I had no idea how the internet worked or how to make a website. I graduated with a sports science degree. I moved into coaching, then research, then science teaching. And I realized it wasn't for me. I love teaching, but the lifestyle and the paycheck wasn't what I was after. I was really craving this digital nomad lifestyle to work and live wherever you want. So I needed fresh options. You can travel wherever or whenever you want. <laughs> I've always known that I love to learn and that's why I've switched between so many careers as I've developed. The act of going from completely zero to being proficient in something is really fulfilling for me. But that curiosity can slow you down if you keep switching between career paths. One thing I love about coding is that you just never stop learning. There's always something new to learn. And coding has some other big benefits too. A good friend of mine moved to Southeast Asia and was backpacking and teaching English online. I then spoke to him after a little while and he was making a lot of money. He told me that he had learned Python and started to do back-end freelance development. Even though I was chasing some other online money-making schemes, he convinced me to give it a go. He suggested that I tried JavaScript because it works on the front end and the back end and then he sent me a link to something called the Odin Project. The Odin Project is a full stack course that's completely for free that you can guide your way through from zero to proficient programmer. Now I'm a sucker for a free course, so I jumped in. I had a bit of time to kill one day and I got started on the course. Initially you're setting up a development environment, it's a little bit complicated, but when I wrote my first few lines of HTML and it changed things on the screen, I felt like a genius. It was also a really good moment for me to think, oh, I am smart enough. As I was learning to code, I had no job. I had no income and I was living off my savings. I was trying to make them go as far as possible. So I had this extra motivation to study hard every single day and I had the time to dedicate to it. But my eggs were all in one basket because if this didn't work out and I wasn't able to start making money online, I was gonna have to go home with absolutely nothing. So I followed the course religiously to the last detail, skipping nothing. At the start, my progress was really good, just like anything. And then as it got harder, I started to hit roadblocks and feel like an idiot. I was failing challenges, struggling with basic concepts and rereading things over and over. But I was building things. Luckily, when I started, I decided to journal, to track my progress, and this was a really, really good decision. I wrote down in the journal every day what I had learned and what I was planning to learn, and I also took a video log of the same thing. It was really helpful on those low days to just look back on the videos that I was struggling with a few weeks ago and think, ah, well, I was struggling with that basic thing a while ago and now it's easy. So therefore, what I'm learning now and what I'm stuck on now is gonna be easy in the future. This is something I really, really recommend. It's not that coding is incredibly hard. You just have to keep going. It is difficult and it is challenging, but most people can learn it. I continued working my way through the Odin project and reached the section on React and started to give it a go. React is a front end framework that is used in most industries for creating their websites or their web applications. And I started trying different technologies. I covered all of these in just four months. Of course, time may vary from person to person, but I had a lot of time and a lot of energy to dedicate to these technologies and learning them. I did not stop at any point. Now let's be real, I did not become a senior software developer in four months, but I did manage to build some basic applications with decent functionality that looked nice. I also understood the language of JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and the other technologies I highlighted. I was understanding the code. Even though I felt like an imposter, I felt like I was capable enough to build some things, and so I started to apply for jobs. Sometimes I hate the phrase learning to code because ultimately we're always learning to code. You never say, I learned to code. You're always learning, it's adapting and developing as you go. If you're not somebody who enjoys constantly learning and upskilling, I don't think this is an area for you. But if you're curious and you love to learn, it is a really satisfying area to work. When you first meet somebody and you tell them that you're a programmer, they think that you're an astrophysicist if they don't know how to code. 
it's like a superpower when you go into an interview. Whatever that role is, even if it's not for software development, if you have it on your CV or your resume that you know how to code, automatically that interviewer is going to think that you're really smart. There are more jobs for software development than there are software developers. And although it's really difficult to get your first job, once you get your foot in the door, you are going to have offers everywhere. I struggled with getting a job on a salary because I was living remote and I had all these requirements and time zone issues. So I definitely found it a lot easier to get into the freelance world because there's always going to be somebody willing to pay five euro or five dollars for a full website. My advice when you're getting started is to just be that chump. Do the hard work for the small pay and get the experience and most importantly the five star review on your profile. As you develop you'll build up a whole new standard and you'll increase your price as well. After about a year and a half of freelancing I can charge about $90 per hour. Hopefully that lights a fire in you. After three months of non-stop learning, I was applying for jobs on LinkedIn and traditional routes and it just wasn't working for me. But I did manage to land a gig making a Telegram bot on Upwork. It took me three weeks and 40 hours per week. It was extremely difficult for me, but I did manage to deliver it. The bot was built with a backend using Node.js, which was one of the things that I'd learned from the Odin project. The grand total of all of my work was $300, which worked out to be around $2.50 per hour. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, well, I could make that money doing anything else, but it was the five-star review that was the real value of this. Also, I learned so much about freelancing, interfacing with clients, all the interaction that's involved, how to use Upwork. And then again, the five-star review, I cannot say that is mo more important than the money in your pocket. Everybody starts somewhere and everybody starts at the bottom. I did make a video on Upwork on how you can optimize your profile to get gigs and to build it up to the point where you can charge more. Here's some advice. Always ask and always try, even if you think you're not ready. And when one door closes and you don't get a job, just look at that as motivation to learn those technologies, become a better version of yourself and apply for the next one. It is tough out there, but you can definitely do it. Right now, I work as a freelancer on a contract basis, mostly with small startups. I like to consider myself a, a gun for hire, as the boss would say. Once you start your journey into learning to code, you'll probably want to start earning money as quickly as possible. And you can learn how to make money in three different ways by watching this video here. Ciao.